Hello and welcome back everyone. So uh, throughout this week I've been modeling this weapon. It is the saw from Halo 4 and today we're going to put these cutouts in the side. And to do that I'm going to use the boolean modifier. So the first thing I want to do is add a cylinder to the scene. I'm going to rotate it around the y-axis by 90 degrees and then line it up on one of these points down here. Scale it in, right about there. And then I'm going to select this face, extrude it, scale it down, and extrude it again. And I guess I should uh, make sure it lines up before I extrude it that second time. Looks good to me. All right, uh, yeah, that looks good. Now I'm going to take that whole piece and duplicate it a few times. Like so. And the really nice thing about using the bool tool, uh, specifically in the modifier stack, is that you're working non-destructively. So if I select my weapon, and add this boolean modifier. Uh, what I want is the the difference between the weapon and the cylinder. So I'm going to come down here and choose difference. And uh, my weapon is called cube. My uh, my cutouts are called cylinder. So let's grab that. And now if I hide these, you can see what the cutout did, what the boolean modifier did. And uh, I think that looks pretty decent. Um, if we wanted to, oh, you'll notice it's only on one side. That, that's because that came after the mirror. If I move it up in the stack, you can now, now it actually gets mirrored. Um, but now if we wanted to, we could move this around or change the size or shape. And uh, you can see how, how easy it is to reshape those holes or move them around. Um, and it will continue to be like that until we actually apply the modifier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So uh, right here, click Apply. And now I can go ahead and delete these cylinders from the scene. And the change has been applied to this model. The Boolean tool is an amazing thing. It's it's super, super useful. Um, the one downside is that it can create weird topology. You can see that uh, these shapes are kind of hard to manage now. Kind of hard to manage now. Ugh, got tongue-tied there. Um, but yeah, so j just use it sparingly and use it in cases like this where, where it really... It, it has to really make sense to use it. You don't want to use it on everything because uh, you, you can you can really mess up your models by by doing that. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was useful, and I will see you next time.